Cruisers make for some of the greatest beginner motorcycles. In this video, I'm going over four that I think every beginner should check out. Hey, I'm Lavatron, and on this channel, you get quick motorcycle how-tos, product reviews, and sometimes I cover the latest motorcycles. For more like this, be sure to subscribe. Let's go. So I'm going to list these four motorcycles in order of price and CCs. The first bike on this list is a Yamaha V-Star 250. This bike features a 250cc air-cooled V-twin that produces a non-intimidating 21 horsepower and 15 foot-pounds of torque. Now you won't be breaking any land speed records with this bike, but it's great for someone who just really wants to get a good handle on how to ride a motorcycle for the first time. The V-Star 250 comes weighing in at 324 pounds, which makes it very lightweight for a cruiser. The V-Star 250 is currently priced at $4,599. The second bike on this list is, of course, the Honda Rebel 500. I did mention this bike on last year's list, and it's still one of my favorites to recommend to any beginner. The Rebel 500 features a 471cc parallel twin engine that delivers 40.8 horsepower at peak and 29 foot-pounds of torque at peak. It's definitely a step up from the V-Star 250, but it's still not an overwhelming amount of power for beginners. The Rebel 500 is also a pretty lightweight cruiser, weighing in at 408 pounds. The weight definitely makes this a bike that is easy to handle, but it also gives new riders confidence to easily maneuver and keep up with traffic. The Rebel 500 is currently priced at 6,299. The third bike is the Kawasaki Vulcan S. The Vulcan S features a 649cc liquid-cooled parallel twin engine that produces 53 horsepower and 42 foot-pounds of torque at peak. It offers much more power than the previous bikes mentioned, but it's still pretty manageable for new riders. While it is much heavier than the V-Star and the Rebel, with a weight of 500 pounds, the Vulcan's design and ergonomics make this a comfortable motorcycle that handles well. The Vulcan S is a great bike that you really won't grow out of for a while, and its pricing starts at $7,199. The final motorcycle on this list is, of course, the Harley-Davidson Iron A83. This wouldn't be a proper cruiser list without at least one Harley. The Sportster Iron A83 is powered by Harley's classic 883 air-cooled Evolution V-Twin that delivers 54 horsepower and 54 foot-pounds of torque at peak. These numbers are really what make this Harley okay for beginners. The Iron A83 is also known to be a bike that many people ride around for many years because it allows so much room for growth. All this being said, it's important to note that this bike is the most expensive on this list, and it's also the most expensive to maintain. Pricing for the Iron A83 starts at $9,499. So the best thing to do before buying any motorcycle is to go into your local dealership to get a good feel of any motorcycle you're interested in. I hope this video helps point you in the right direction for your first motorcycle. As I always say, ride safe and see you next time.